First you flick this switch, then this switch. That activates it. There. Now whatever you do, don't push this button. Because that will set off the bomb immediately and we'll all be dead. Now, repeat back what I just said. Cancel that! I'm the greatest! I'll attack! I'll attack! Woot! No! Maybe I do a little play-by-play -play this game chat so I can show you guys why Odin's one of the best gods in the game. Or maybe I should do it on Arachne because Arachne is actually the best god in the game. All right, chat. So when you pull the blue buff as Odin, you start your three and then you let the minion spawn and then bring it back so you can hit all of them with your three. Clear that really fast. Pop a multi-pot because I'm kind of low health, but I don't want to pop a real pot. Blink to the way so I can get here first. I'm going to... Throw up my three for the attack speed. Just jump it so I can full clear. Not a big deal. Push that so fast with Ringdas that I can either rotate. I can actually maybe rotate to mid. This should be worth. Definitely worth for first blood. If that wasn't first blood, I probably wouldn't make a rotation like that. But since we have so much pressure, this is just why Chuchu Ring is so good. And blinking to the wave is so good. You just can do so many things. I could have done their Scorp, their, not their Scorp, their Sharpie. I could have done rotated to the mid wave like I did. I could have done my own Sharpie. I could have just sat there and stared at him. All right, so we get the first blood. Cam and no bead, so it's kind of a free kill. I'm going to hit him here because he's trying to ignore me. He's tanking the wave. So he should take a lot of damage here. Good evening, he Mr. Finney, nice. okay. How have your games been tonight? They haven't been the greatest blades, but thank you for the eight months. And the tier two as well. Welcome back to the Fonzo family, man. I appreciate it very, very much. Can we get some hype in the chat for that? So I didn't really check his build. He has tier one vamp plus celestial, so he's very tanky. So poking him's really not that worth it. But uh, it, was, it was okay to go for that. He just happened to hit three, so he jumped over. <clears throat> he does have a lot of pressure in this matchup because he has the vamp shroud. As far as like the actual 1v1, it's very hard to outtrade a Vamp Shroud character. Whenever you're clearing with Odin, you want to make sure the minions are grouped up. If they split, then you're not going to full clear it like you usually would with your jump. Three. But that tick gets that, get three of those minions, clear that one, then go to blue. You always max your two. Always max your two on the old Odin. Okay. Just your best way to clear the wave. It's also pretty low cooldown once you get it maxed. And then you can just kind of spam it for survivability, for clearing everything. We'll clear that. Run over to Totem. It's actually really important for me to get this right now since I'm pretty low mana. I don't have mana sustained in my build or anything. So we get that. I'm going to do Sharpie real quick. Serve just jumped. I'm actually going to jump this. And even though I'm low mana, I can just run to my tower, get another Totem proc. And then clear the wave. He's about to hit five. It's gonna hit five here. That's his ult down. I have not committed in my three, so it's really bad for him to look for that. We'll clear this wave. Make sure we get the archers in gold. Standard tower. Keep getting this totem. Um, probably just go sundering axe this game. So I can back for tier two sundering axe and maybe tier two talisman plus a chalice, hopefully. If he doesn't hit me, I can clear this way past him. He wanted, he needed to hit me there so that the minions would split. But since he didn't, I can just full clear the wave like that. Now we're chilling. Get okay, Warrior's Axe. I don't know if we'll be able to afford a Chalice plus tier 2 Talisman. No, we can't. We'll just get tier 1 Talisman because we're going to go Talisman of Energy plus a Chalice and jump out of base. <clears throat> How's he making his 3 go fast? What are you talking about? You talking about my 3? Um, You don't have to... Hold it for the entire duration. You can throw it early by just clicking left click. I know you said no more god request, but how about an item request on a god? Maybe redstone on Vamana? Mm, maybe. Maybe I could do that. We'll see, we'll see. I'm gonna jump to make sure this minion doesn't get to tower. Pop my shield. It's not gonna pop for a lot of damage because the more damage you take, the less shield will actually hit. We're gonna push this wave since they're back here. We don't want to go straight to our blue. We want to try and push the wave under tower while he's not here. Switch these. Make sure we jump before the minions do a lot of damage to us. 
So even though I can't really do much off of pushing this wave hunter's tower and he's still gonna get it, he still has to worry about where I am, like in the jungle and everything. So it's really important to push your wave so people have to like figure out where you are and obviously you have to defend it as well. I should be able to get totem here, so I'm just gonna use all my mana on this. I see I should be able to get it because he should be going to his blue right now. Which means this totem should spawn any second, and I should be able to get it. Get wave pressure. Oh, it looks like they got it. Never mind. He got the totem before he backed, I guess. Here we go. We did get it before we back, but it respawned. I'm gonna get this totem for the team. Sit out of mana. He has Tyrannical, which is a really big lane dominant item. Um, so what that means to me when he's already playing a character like this and he's decent into me, uh, he has more sustain and everything. I just kind of want to get out of this lane. So I'll just clear and do my own thing. He didn't hit me again, so the minions are grouped up for me, so I'm chilling. I'm gonna jump that, stun him after. I don't mind trading too much. Especially, especially if I can get some Warrior's Axe procs. Keep uh, the totem going so I can keep my health up. Hit him with that for the Warrior's Axe proc. Grab another totem fresh. I want to try and get the next totem as well. We'll drop the wave here. We don't have to worry, especially if our three is up. Like, he can't do anything really to us. I maybe rotate mid because Serb is giving me wave pressure. This is when you want to rotate chat, anybody. You get your wave pressure, you can kind of make uh, rotations around the map. Get a double kill for it. Try and jump away from this guy. My shield's up in three. If he doesn't kill me here... Oh, he got me with it. That's unfortunate. Not a big deal. We got a double kill. And that was came ult. We're going to have to commit like that's pretty good. Terra should be fine. Her abilities are out. Oh my goodness, they're kind of owning. That was big. Now we get our Talisman. Pestilence could work here because they have a Kama and a Morgan Le Fay. And both those characters heal a lot. Morgan Le Fay heals deceptively a lot. Like a Decepticon. But, um... I just... Talisman energy is so, such a comfy item. It's so cozy. It allows you to hyper farm really hard because you get so much MP5, so much attack speed and movement speed just running between stuff. And makes you very tanky. Ta Pestilence does as well, but... Regardless, we're gonna go... Talisman. We'll have enough anti-heal in our build regardless. Um, so I'm probably not going to go Pridwin. I'm probably going to go Breastplate. The reason I'm not going to go Pridwin is because it's bugged on Odin and I don't want to bug abuse. It does extra damage because of the shield being bugged. I'm going to go ahead and hit this guy a little bit because I have my item now. So I don't really have to be too afraid. Jump is two. I don't want to take that whole thing in damage. I'll just go ahead and clear now. It is how hard to outtrade a tyrannical serve, and he's going even more magic or physical defense. I want to try and get this. Oh, somebody's there. Somebody just did that. So somebody is over here. We need to be a little bit careful now. This guy's maxing his two. I hit him with that. It's kind of silly of him to walk into that. Try and get these wards out so we can play based off the ganks. Go ahead and clear this real quick. I'm gonna call missing. Sir might be rotating mid. He's just not here. I'm not gonna two this. I'm just gonna three it. Kama just got a triple kill and right. Unfortunate. That's not good. I'm gonna try and do the scorpion now. I have a lot of pressure. It's really tr good to get this for your team in, in the early stages of the game. Not just because you can have like power and fire and everything early on, but it's just nice glo global gold for everybody. Oh no. Try and wait. I must have had a ward on it, I guess. Okay, well. They must have had a ward or something. It is kind of hard to do it by yourself. Depending on your character, so no big deal. It'll stop me from doing it, but I'll just do my way and get my farm and do my thing right now. Bug abuse it? No, I'm not going to. Especially because it's banned in SPL, so. Um, we are going to go... I think we actually still might go Mystical, though. I think Mystical is too, too nice to not go. 
I think I can get away with going Mystical Breastplate this game. No caperoni. I think that's what we're going to do. Could have grabbed some more wards there, but... Pretty close to level 12. Maybe I could have stayed one more wave so I could have got my second relic as well with that back. Something to think about for sure. Yeah, I did see uh, Andy go from Bronze to Master 1 stream. That keeps getting asked. Maybe we should make a command for it, but I think it's pretty awesome. Pretty insane. So one thing you do with Odin, if you want to get to your wave, you jump to it, and then you can just pop your two, and then when you get close to your wave, and just stand in the middle of it, and it'll clear. These are first hit of our three here for the attack speed. Plus talisman, it gives you a lot of attack speed. I'm kind of doing my job right now. I've been getting a lot of totems. Just kind of farming. Definitely want to make some rotations. We got a first blood, helped our mid laner out. Then we made another rotation, got a double kill. So for the most part, we're kind of feeling good right now. Don't let him hit you because you don't want the minions to split up. Hit him with that for a Warrior's Axe proc. Gonna see where Kama goes. If Kama goes to Agni, I can look for a proxy here. Looks like he did go to Agni. So now I can get this proxy off. Unfortunately, Agni died, but now I have a lot of wave pressure. I can back in my mystical and maybe rotate to gold if they go for that. I might actually just have to go beads here. They have so much CC. Look at their comp. Ares, Serb. Maybe it's and maybe it wasn't worth to go beads. Can we not defend this at all? Looks like it's probably just gone. Mm, unfortunate. All right, well, not too bad. I mean, we're down 3k now, but not the end of the world. Try and clear these mid camps before I go back to my lane. Unfortunate that I had to go beads. I mean, they just have a lot of setup CC with Sir Berries. Um, I basically never want to go beads on Odin because you have immunity on your three for knockups, and then you just do so much damage with uh, like Sunder and stuff. You can just chase people down and own them. Not the end of the world though. Their comp isn't the greatest late game, honestly, and I will be able to destroy the Morgan. Try and group up the wave here as much as I can. Brute minion not there. I have a lot of wave pressure, so I want to look for a rotation or something. On my way. On my way. Drink middle line. Oh, there's a guy here. Unfortunately, you got it just out of range there. Just go ahead and clear this. Oh, I might be dead here. I'm good. Oh, I'm dead. Unfortunate, that's both throats down. I didn't think Camo was actually going to come back. They had no kill potential on me if I just don't ever jump. Oh, who is going to get a kill? Oh, no. Oh, nice job. That kind of sucks. Definitely not a good death by me, sitting there right there. I thought my teammates were coming over there. They said on my way, but they weren't anywhere near. Maybe they weren't talking to me. So usually you would go Pridwin here. And you could still do it if you want to bug abuse, but I'm just waiting for them to fix that. I don't know what happened. My, my team's getting a little bit owned in the mid lane, even though we got them pretty far ahead. Well, our beads are going to be down for a while, so we got to be careful of Ares. I don't have to be, don't have to be too worried about Serb though, because we have the knock immunity for his ult. Minions do come to you while you're in the air, so it's not that big of a deal if, you know, you look for that. Enemies in retreat. Enemy ultimate down. We'll clear that and maybe rotate. Could always put points in your ult because it does do damage, but I think it's better to just have uh, more points in your bird bomb so you one shot people. And camps. I mean, I'm rotating over, but there's just nothing to do, I guess. Nobody is setting up anything. Sorry, right, we'll keep hyper farming. Keep using this talisman of energy. So I just got his blue. I'll just clear this with my three here. My 
I actually don't want to commit to this totem. I'm going to see if I can rotate mid or anything. Our Huey died. There's just nothing to rotate to. Really is nothing to rotate to ever. Go ahead and do totem. I want to maybe try and get this tower since it's so low. I don't really want to tank it. Might be kind of risky. I guess I have my shield. We should be able to do it. Imagine somebody's here. Their blue's down, so there shouldn't be anybody here. They look like they were actually were trying to come kill me. Wow. See you there, mortal. Thanks for the year-long reset, man. Welcome back to the Fonzo family. Much appreciated. Is Ares actually here? <laughs> He's going back mid. If I can get my back off. Not going to let me. Okay. I'll just commit to this. I should be able to out secure him. He did get it. Alright, we got the blue. We're chilling. He just doubled defense and with the vamp trap, so it's pretty impossible to kill him. Unless somebody comes over. He'd be pretty easy to kill if Sir Cat came over, honestly, because he's just jumping like a madman. <clears throat> Um, but yeah, now we have the breastplate, so we'll be very tanked to their physicals. And we should do a whole lot, a whole lot of work. I'm just gonna get push this wave and then go over to gold. Need to make sure I'm there for it. That died to mystical. They're kind of pulling it preemptively. We're not really there. I'm not really there. I wasn't actually keeping track of the timer. I should have kept a better track of it. Got a nice cage. That's their phantom. They're still gonna take a lot of damage here. I'll kill off Ares. Down on her here. That's my shield's down. I need to jump out. I can't take him. We can maybe keep going though. I still have blink. She still has her ult. She's one HP. Try and jump away from that. I got my shield coming back up. Oh no, the shield was on a point in one second. Oh man. That is so unfortunate. Surprised we weren't able to kill more people there. They did live with one HP to be fair, but... Zerkat kind of just died when she went in. What's up with these builds? Why Why do people go... Why are people going crit with tank items? That's like so horrible. All right, well, we're definitely gonna go wing blade. So we get some more magical defense and it's very good into their comp. Wing blade's just kind of good in a lot of scenarios. Man, oh man. <clears throat> okay, so now we're down 6k. Which is a little bit rough, but nothing we can't overcome. Try and push out some waves. It's possible they look for a gank on me right now, especially with my beads down, but just a risk that I'm willing to take. So I want some farm. And I, I can always waste their time a ton if they actually do come to me, but it looks like they're looking for a right jungle. Three to wave, jump on it. I can maybe make a long rotation. I'm just going to go ahead and back because it's going to be closer if I back. My team's getting owned. On my way. I don't know if this will be that great. Serb's about to be here as well. 
Okay, so I just won't. Okay. The honor pillar just blocked my freaking stun. Attack fire giant, what? Mind that, taking a little bit. Is your cat blink in there? I hope not. This guy has no ult. Let's just kill this guy. I'm just gonna make sure he dies. It's really important that he dies. I'm gonna use my jump. Oh fuck, I wanna use my jump if before the cripple so I can just shield after. We can kill these guys. This should be really good for us. I'm gonna go ahead and look for a stun on their backline here instead. That guy is for sure dead. Oh, I need to try and body block there. Looks like he lived anyway. I'm not gonna beat this. I don't need to. We're gonna kill everybody regardless. Using my three for the knockup and Mia Morgan because that's her only self feel is knockups. That camera threw that fight real hard by jumping back in on me. When I went on him and stunned him, his ult was down, so he's such a free kill. Make sure on objectives you use your the start of your uh, three, the first one, for the attack speed. I don't know if I actually did it there. I think maybe I did it a little bit late for some reason. Want to spread out for the pools here when you're tanking. The knockup's about to happen. How do people get hit by that? Terra died to fire. That's basically what you're going to do when you're tanking fire, though. You want to keep it off to the side. Can I, I couldn't really do it there, but this is the start of your three for the attack speed for your team, and you'll be chilling. Looks like Kama is chasing our boys out. We can kill this guy. That guy's just dead. He's trolling. It was a really bad play by him. Um, so we can get our center axe and our wing blade here. Um, We'll probably sell our Rangdas for like a Magi's just because they have so much CC. And when our beads are down, we want to have an immunity for it. It would just make it really annoying. It'd be very hard for them to peel, especially if I have knock if I have my knockup immunity for Morgan knockup, and then I have a Magi's, I have beads. Like it's just so hard for them to peel them off me or peel me off them, and I'll just keep chasing them down. So yeah, now now we have our Sundering Axe. This is what makes tanks late game pretty viable. Is Sundering Axe? It just heals you so much, does so much damage. It's true damage as well because you're stealing health away from him. Oh, gank. That's her ult. Just want to shield to tank her damage. She's just dead. I'm not going to beat this. I don't have to. Oh, who ye? My bad. I mean, he was dead either way, to be honest. I'm going to go ahead and beat this and jump on this on her. We keep chasing him. Sundering Axe in two. That should heal me a good bit if I use it on Ares. Looks like I didn't, but. Oh, that guy lived with one HP. That sucks. Can't believe he didn't die. Well, that wasn't too great for us. I don't know. Did Huey jump in or something? Is that why he died? I don't think... I didn't really tank the tower or anything for him anyway, but... What's up, Bobby? Kissy face at the camera. What is she talking about? Sundering Axis Ares. I'm just gonna cage him a little bit. That's their Phantom, nice. Nice, he's dead. We gotta be a little bit careful. Oh, nice, he got his dash back up. We're just gonna go on this sir, appeal for uh, Andy. Oh my god, that guy just healed so much. What was that healing? Vamp Shroud. Blood Soak Shroud. We'll be good here. Just back up. We can just do gold now. Didn't really get much off of our fire there. We kind of trolled him to kill that Morgan. What do you call a cold dog? A What's that, Razy? Oh my goodness! Thank you for the year-long resub, Razy. I appreciate it very much. I like, I like it. Oh, kill this guy! This guy is trolling. But I can still catch him. I have in one. Oh, 
I should be able to kill on her here. I'm gonna go ahead and jump because if he has an impale, I want to juke that. Forge. Oh, I'm dead. That's a good play by on her. I don't know why people stop chasing him now. Okay. That guy wasn't like out. We should have chased him out and killed him. He had his Aegis hat up after all that as well. I guess this. I think the Kama maybe went on this Riquette. That's maybe what stopped him from going. What's the leveling order? I know you max your two and then your three and then your one. But just put one point in your ult and don't put points into it until you have to later on. Um, I could go match. I think I'm gonna go Mantle, and the reason is that I have Sundering Axe, so 120 prots combined from this gives me so much damage for my Sundering Axe, for the protections, so, from the passive, obviously, so. Magic would be good as well, but I think we're just, uh, specifically right now, I don't have to worry too much. I haven't been getting Ares pulled or anything, because their CC besides, all their CC besides Ares pull and, like, Serp's done ult and stuff, is all, like, knockups or slows. Like knockups on Morgan, knockups on On her, all their self peel is just knock up, so kinda hard counter them with my three. I have fifteen power for my Odin passive. With beads with beads and no like thorns or no Pridwin or no Sunder, just blink beads and not having any damage in my build. Usually I'm pretty sad about that, because I feel like you don't have enough damage to actually threaten their backline. Um because my only damage source is Sundering Axe and Mystical Mail. I wish I had a Pridwin and everything, but you know, I'm like, it's bug, so it is what it is. But it's not too bad this game, just because it's really hard for them to peel me off them. I could just like zone for a long time. I'm doing good, Spiral. How are you? Or Spired? Was that my. this homing missile one? I can just keep looking uh, pretty aggro here with my three and my shield because they can't really poke me because of my shield and I can just keep centering axe them looking for magis and shit. That's a 347 on that boy's head. Just keep poking them like that. That's how you do your thing. Throw it on him. 324. Three ninety six on that guy. I don't know what the play is here, boys. Wait. My team is so afraid. Play so far back. Okay, well, Sir Cat's in base, so now we actually do have to play back. going on. I'm getting full committed on as a tank. Oh, I might get killed here. I don't have my shield or my fucking jump because of the cripple. Like what? She got four ults used on me. I just need to retreat. Try and come back in time. What's going on? Oh, Kama jumped on me, literally right in front of me. And this should be pretty bad for them, especially if Sirket can stall. She's kind of tanky, so she can. Oh yeah, this should be really bad for them. We should kill everybody here. I still have my blink up as well. I'm gonna wait for his jump, stun him. Oh, I didn't hit him. I can cage him though. Nobody gonna help me on their backline. <laughs> what? Why? Why does that keep happening? To be fair, maybe I, I kind of misuse my abilities, but. Okay. 
bro. Retreat. Retreat. Well, that's what I'm talking about, though. If I had different actives or whatever, I might be able to kill like that on her on my own there, but he just turns and does too much damage to me because uh, carries are OP at this point in the game. And I don't have every active that I want or item. They may actually pull fire here. Enemies at the fire giant. Gank. No problem, they dropped it. Our guy's gonna be dead for a little bit, so we gotta be careful. We don't have our ADC at this point in the game, it's pretty bad. It's the bug, there's a bug on Odin where if you buy Prudwin, your Prudwin pops for your shield damage as well, your two. Alright, here he's back. We can maybe look for this guy. Gank. Group up. Gank. Attack. It's his magi, so that's good. Okay. That's good. Of course, that guy's all. Get this wave real quick. My team's fighting. When I was on the wave, that kind of sucks. Attack. Can maybe look for their backline still here. Attack. That is their phantom. I can still maybe stun Morgan. I hit on her. This guy's just wailing me, man. Just holding left click. Attack. Attack. Oh, what just happened to me? My shield's about to be up and I have beads, so I should be good on this on her. Oh my god, where is my team, man? What is going on? This is like the 10th time. This fucking does a billion damage to me. Only my Easters weren't so B. Fucking are, man. They really are. It's whatever. We killed him. I don't mind trading my life for his at this point, but. Just kill this guy. Yeah, they should probably just do Pyro because they're going to coming back and they're all really low. Return to base. Come back and let's do this thing again. We maybe could have gone back to fire there instead of chasing out the on her, but uh, I think it was really good to re to get that on her's like uh, death timer off the timers of the other guys. So it's like uh, his respawn timer was like 50 seconds or whatever, and everybody else was spawning in like 15 seconds. Just have it having it staggered is pretty good. But obviously, me dying was not what we wanted. So that changed things. Oh. We don't have crit, so we're not going to do this that fast. Stun this guy, that's his beads, that's his ult, that's really good. Get a little centering axe on the Ares. Gonna try and zone these guys, no problem. Kama jumped on me, I should be good. Should kind of just kill everybody here. Just kind of baiting. What the heck? Attack! 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 
Stun the Ares. I'm telling you, people must just be missing every single ability known to man. I don't know how... I, not every single one of them is dead. Finally, let's go. Let's go. So yeah, I was just trying to zone them off the fire giant there, and then they kind of misplayed by kind of going on me a little bit. Uh, then I got a nice cage off. Kama came in and went on me again. When I wasn't in no danger, I could just keep shielding because I have so much CDR, keep proccing my centering axe. And uh, honestly, that whole game was just uh, just a really bit, really sad. It's a really sad game. And uh, maybe I was going a little bit too ham, especially with not having like the best relics for it because I can't just like solo dive and one shot them because I didn't have the the right relics or whatever. But I think I think people are just like missing stuff. I'm not really doing like all that much. I ended up doing 34k damage, not too bad.